How you doing? Once again, welcome to the Bob Gonzo Show, and one of my best friends in the business, and probably one of the best comics ever in history. Somebody else is here. My, <laughs> uh, my good friend Paul Veneer, who just uh, headlined the uh, fundraiser right here in Jackson, uh, in Jackson at uh, Jackson Mills Firehouse, right? <laughs> yep. And, and uh, Paul, Paul, besides being uh, one of the best comics in the country, he just finished uh, writing a book, yes. and the book is going to be published. So, Paul, do you want to talk about the book? Uh, it's going to come out probably in a couple months. It's called Brand Spanking New Dirty Little Limericks. <laughs> I think. But they may change the title, but that's what it is right now. That's the title right now. It'll be out in a couple months. And he also uh, has a, a couple of CDs out. He's uh, just finishing your second CD, right? This is my second one. First one was called Better Late Than Never. The new one's going to be called Back Again. Right. And uh, I got the first CD. It's phenomenal. Second CD I'm going to get. It's great. He's so... I, 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 I'm so jealous because he ha he, there's nothing he can't do besides having the memory. Drive, drive besides, nice. uh, come on up and give us the drinks. You can get in here. Get on here. Thank Say hi. Sir. And what is your name? Mike. Mike, there you go, Mike. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, we're, do we're doing a lot of interview here with Paul, so you can hang out if you want and uh, listen to Paul. And uh, So now, Paul, yes, give it, uh, all the comics have a great horror story, so tell us what is the worst experience you ever had. In comedy or in life? In, co in comedy, yeah. Okay, in comedy, uh, yeah, guys, wait. We're going to pull the 50-50. Oh, they're doing the 50-50. Hold on. Here it is. I'm doing a show down in Virginia, and uh, I, I go, I'm about to go on. It's a big tent. It's outside, but it's in a tent. It's 500 people. And the owner talks me into the guy. I have this feeling, like maybe I, because mostly older people, I shouldn't do the flasher. I should not do the oh, flasher. Yeah. And the guy talks me into it. The guy running the thing goes, you got to do it. They'll love it. I said, you're sure? He goes, they're going to love it. I should have went with my gut. I usually go with my gut. I, I went up there and did it. The whole tent clears out before I even go into the second oh. bit. I find out they're born again Christians. No. He didn't tell me that. I had nobody to perform to. I was done in five minutes. The show was over in five minutes. Everybody's, that's, everybody's that's outside the tent. flasher bit so they know what's happening it's, it's, it's a flasher, yeah. That's yeah. hysterical. Oh. Yeah. So what's the best thing about being a comic? For anybody who wants to be a comic out there, just, you know, um, just let them know what's the greatest thing or the greatest story. The, I think the greatest thing as a comic yeah. is you get to do or say anything you want. As long as the people laugh and you're doing your job. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. If you're having fun, the audience has fun. If you're tense and nervous, they're going to be tense and nervous. Just have fun. I think in terms of the universe, it don't mean nothing. Right. Just have fun. Yeah. That, that's, that's the great thing about being a comic. You say you're doing anything you want. I worked with Paul for so many years, and I, I, I swear, he has had fun every night. <laughs> he, he's never been depressed, never been down. Every audience just gives him, like, the stand ovation, I think, because, yeah, he's, he's serious. Mm -hmm. He does an hour and a half minimal, laser. so all you people out there who think five, ten minutes is hard, he does an hour and a half minimal every night, and he kills, and he has the most fun every single night. Hey, so. Fun. Make sure you come see Paul Veneer wherever he is playing. ComedyTornado.com. So, ComedyTornado.com. That's the website. Go to the tour day page. I'll be in your town soon. It's, That's like the, right. it's like the circus came to town. That's right. Yes. Anything, oh, you, say hi to your wife and kids. My wife and kids. I'm my wife, Lorraine, and my two twin daughters, 16 years old. I'm dead. Get a gun and shoot me and get it over with. They're cheerleaders. <laughs> phone never stops ringing. They're uh, actually talking to the friends online and talking to them on the phone at the same time. Uh, anything else you want to say or about your uh, career? Or? No, just everything's going well. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a great time. Make good money at it. Thank God. Thank God for that. And uh, I'm going to do it until I drop. Yeah. People say, are you, are you going to retire? Yeah, when I can't walk, that's yeah, when yeah, I'll yeah. retire. Yeah. Do it until I get to. Now, you like the West Coast or East Coast to perform better? Well, I like the East Coast because I'm near home. Yeah. Uh, I love the West Coast because it's great for the business. If you're in a business yeah. there, West Coast is the place right. to be. But the East Coast is, I, I know, I just like the, I like the, the tempo. I'm, I'm hyper. I'm high energy. I like that kind of tempo. Once again, Paul Veneer, thank you. You're like one of the hottest, uh, best friends, greatest comics, thank you. wonderful talents. Can he can sing? And trust me, if you if you want to, anybody to memorize anything, this guy right here. We my, did. My family actually calls me up for the zip codes at Christmas time. Oh, that's they go, funny. Oh, what's, what's Holbrook? One one seven four one. That's funny. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna take off. Thank you very much. Uh, good night. God bless. And thanks for watching the Bob Gonzo Show. See you later. Thanks. Who are all the goddamn poor fried rice? <laughs> Let's go 500 bucks, I ain't paying you for it. <laughs> Says right here, one ton of pork fried rice. <laughs> well, that's one ton. <laughs> Let's get to this side, guy with the striped shirt right there from Foot Locker. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Good. So let me get a pump. What is your name, sir? And what do you do, Steve, with a PH or a V? With a V, see, not balanced. Okay, just want to make sure. What do you do, Steve, with a V? What do you do, sir? Marine contracting. Oh. <laughs> That's affirmative, sir. <laughs> How long are we going to post those? How long, sir? 25 years. 25 years conversion joint. That's eight months. <laughs> hey,
this guy goes to a dentist, and he has to get a tooth pulled. He's got a real bad tooth, he's got to get a tooth pulled. The dentist comes out with a needle. The guy goes, no, 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 no needle. I'm, I'm definitely afraid of needles. Don't give me a needle. He goes, okay. He takes out the gas mask. No, no, no mask. I can't wear a mask. I feel like I'm suffocating. The guy goes, okay, how are you with pills? So I'm fine with pills. He gives him Viagra, because that's going to help the pain. He goes, no, but you're going to need something to hold on to when I pull your tooth. <laughs> I did a show last night. There was a woman that had three dogs, and she named them after what they were. She had a golden shimmer gold, the adoption named Doc, and a French pool named Frenchie. And I was saying, thank God she didn't have a cocker spade. Please be careful with the nice margarita. Don't want to end up like the husband of Lorena. She chopped it off and chucked it out in margarita. Hey, that's my wiener.